Hello? Hi! Oh, my God! What are you <laughs> serving here on this party boat? Let's get you a drink. Yeah, let, let's have some fun before we get down to the nitty-gritty. <laughs> the next 72 hours are going to be intense. Well, I'm excited. You're already well-known, girl. Oh, I don't know, girl. Yeah, You're a star in Japan. <laughs> You've done all these huge shows. You had, what, like 8 million followers on MySpace? Yeah, well, you know. have that. <laughs> Corey being famous internationally and locally, I was curious to see why it hadn't translated to a bigger picture here in the U.S., so I thought I'd spend time with her in her everyday life. Oh, I have a job for you. But wait, I'm well, supposed to be helping you. My husband's out of town, so he's got to cut the grass. You know what? I really wanted to immerse myself in Corey's everyday life. Forward and reverse. Who knew it had so much manual labor? even tell you what it's like to have <laughs> doing stuff with me around the house. Whoa, these tomatoes are heavy. But more importantly, giving me advice on something that I care so much about. I suffer terribly from performance anxiety. No. I get really, really bad stage fright. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I'm sure you're way past that, but you know. I don't think anybody ever gets way past that. Well, that's good to hear. I totally understand Corey because I know what it's like to be fearful up on a stage because I don't like being the center of attention and I really had to get used to that. You know, uh, when I envisioned doing this show. <laughs> this was not what you were thinking. This was not <laughs> one of the options. Do I get to drive? You know I'm a great driver. You know I'm a little afraid of being in cars. You're afraid of being in the driver's seat, girl. What's going on? Maybe that's part of the whole situation of the fear of Maybe. the stage. But thoughts create reality, and fear is a very powerful emotion. Having spent some time with Corey and realizing that fear is a big part of many aspects of her life, she's carrying this over onto the stage. So I want to work on the stage fright with her and really want her to get over that. Well, I'm excited about the venue that you're going to perform in because I think the House of Blues is, you know, it's all about the music. There at the House of Blues, I had one really bad show. It was like the first show I ever did. I ran off the stage, threw my microphone across the room. Oh. I was so Ooh, it mad. it was one of those movie moments. I was so mad at myself. Oh. Oh. I mean, everybody gets nervous. It took me a good 10 years to really become comfortable mm -hmm. on stage. And now it's like my what second I, home. Yeah. I'm just trying to do what I can to get through to her and make sure that those few minutes that she's on stage are gonna pop and she's gonna forget all her fears once and for all. I try to remember that it's gonna be over so fast and that that moment will never come back. Mm -hmm. And just to try to glean every little bit of goodness from it. You know, everything that can be fun. The people that are going to be there rooting for you. Gloria has this calming thing about her, and she just makes me feel really comfortable. I think because she's been there, and she's done that, and she gets it. Think about the reasons you picked the song. You know, is there something in the lyrics that touched yeah. you deeply? Yeah, lyrically, it's kind of like about seizing the moment. And with music, that's how you got to be, you know? Exactly. You have to face your fears. Right now, I'm facing a pretty big opportunity in my life, and I feel, I feel a little anxious, I'm not going to lie. I'm on the edge of glory, and I'm hanging on a moment of truth. I'm bringing Corey back to the House of Blues because this is where she became very fearful, and I think it's the best way for her to get over her stage fright. I'm on the edge with you. Yes. You heard that ring? That thing was ringing out without a mic. <laughs> now, especially after touching the stage and being on the stage and singing on the stage and looking right at her when I'm singing, I feel ready. 